Ibiza. from Ibiza back in the UK. I would say nice to be home, but it's not too nice to be home. The sun is actually shining, although the weather looks pretty miserable this week. But as you see, my car is packed up, so sorry for the mess behind me. Eternally on the road in the UK. Had loads of fun in Ibiza. It was super, super fun watching the PTO race. I didn't really shoot or anything. I took some pictures to send around to some guys, some of which used some shots. But generally, just enjoyed the front row seat watching the action. The men's race was in the morning, so I shot, I shot sort of the men coming back off the bike. I shot the women going out on the, uh, the women going out on the bike, men coming off the bike, men's run, women's bike, women's run. So it all actually panned out quite nicely. Just took the TT bike out onto the course. There was a nice little spot where all the coaches were stood. So film from there. Uh, you better see my shots over the top here. through the week, generally catching up with people. So I spent the first couple of days catching up with some friends and riding with them, having dinner with them, which was really nice. Uh, always good to see familiar faces at races. Yeah, a bit of training and stuff, checking out our course for the long distance worlds. I thought that was a bait then. <laughs> yeah, just getting my, <laughs> just getting my smoking. <laughs> Marginal gains, mate, you gotta get on the hype. <laughs> this is Alex. This is Peter. Why are you tired? <laughs> Triathlon watch. Gloves. It's got long socks. Aero helmet. Then on the Tuesday, Ruth arrived. So we did some filming, caught up, some interviews, which like pre-race thoughts, her riding the bike, checking in, a bit of swim footage. It was a really cool open air pool. So I put some of that content in here. I managed to fly the drone above that and get some shots. So yeah, Ruth was in the pool. Also Ben Canute was in there for a bit. Al was in there for a bit. Natia was in and Bradley Vice and Matt Troutman came. So some shots of all of them, uh, but mainly, focus on getting Ruth's video, but flying the drone was really nice over that pool. We also did some open water stuff. So obviously the, the sea there is so nice. So yeah, it was really cool to fly the drone and um, get some filming there and a bit from the beach. So Ruth swam with Skipper, Kat um, and some others. So managed to fly the drone a little bit around there. Luckily it was just about far enough away from the airport that that was legit. Here we are, we're in Ibiza, it's sunny, it's day two. I didn't film anything yesterday because I didn't do much exciting other than ride my bike, swim and run. No one needs to see that. I'm just waiting for Ruth. No idea where she is, that's why my head's on a swivel. We're meant to meet, well, it's kind of an ambiguous time, but she assures me she left 10 minutes ago. It's a 10 minute ride here. It's usually her waiting on roundabouts for me, so we'll enjoy this game of where is little Russell. And here's our meeting spot. Of course, Golden Arches. She was stood there, I was stood here, hidden behind the bushes. Were you here this whole time? <laughs> Were you behind the bushes this whole time? Yeah, basically. <laughs> creeping around. How you doing? Being chased by dogs. 
Also did some cycling with Lucy Byram. Yeah, it was a shame she had a stomach, stomach bug the sort of 48 hours leading into the race. So gave it a go, but didn't didn't manage to make it out of T1. But really excited to see her go at the championship at the weekend. That'll be a really fun race to watch. Yeah, she's absolutely flying. Yeah, so I filmed some stuff with her on the bike. She had a bike session, which was quite nice. I got an absolute drilling. She had eight minutes, four minutes and two by two minutes so i got stuck in with that we did it on the long course world's course and uh, her sister and her sister's boyfriend came with us it's nice to have some company here we are day three more bike riding getting my ass kicked by another british female we're all pretty good the british females uh, waiting for lucy byram we're gonna go for a spin she's got some efforts i also was planning to do some efforts it should work out nicely we're going to go up to the top of the climb on my race route, Lucy's obviously doing the PTO race, sit on the back, try not to get shelled and hope I'm still intact for a cafe stop afterwards. Here we are, we're waiting for Lucy's twin sister, we've been waiting three days so far. Here's Lucy, she's going to win the race on Saturday. On the Wednesday, I rode with Ruth, Declan Doyle from Team Free Speed and Christian Hogenhaug. So everyone did something a little bit different, but it was really nice to catch up with everyone. Flew the drone, I was doing some filming for something I can't talk about quite yet. So yeah, that was good. Some cycling footage of Ruth, took the drone out on the bike, flew the drone, got some close-up shots of her on the bike, which was really good fun. The weather was obviously magic. Filming is a lot easier when the, when the sun is shining. So I took some stills for Christian, video of Ruth, and a bit of drone footage out and about. Another day, another bike ride. Today we've got Ruth again. I've got the drone in my pocket, gonna do some drone filming. We're joined by Declan Doyle. I don't know who Declan is, sorry Declan, but one of Ruth's friends. And Mr. Hogenhaug is coming, so really nice to see Christian, uh, obviously a really good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, back out on the course, see how it goes. Maybe I'll film something other than cycling in the next few days. But yeah, it's been nice to get some riding in, catch up with everyone, and have a chilled few days. So yeah, enjoy the content. Christian Hogenhaug, race favourite, all time good guy. One by on, legs ready to go. He's always on the wheel in videos. <laughs> Every video. He says he's a big back cyclist, but he needs he needs the wheels. This is about where I get fucking drilled.
I've been dropped, I've lost all my friends. I pay them to be my friends anyway, so it's a sad state of affairs. They're all doing, they've all got intervals, Ruth 4x5, Christian 2x25 at zone two. So I've just decided I need an easy day. So left Billy No mates. Let's hope they wait for me a bit further down the road. Then ever sort of started winding down into the race, so um, didn't really take take too much more content after that. I was kind of just getting ready to watch a PTO race and race on the Sunday. My race was very average, never really got going. I um, think I got my nutrition slightly wrong. But all learning, I still had a great day, and then we went pretty imminently after the race to a bar, and then got after it from there. So yeah, it was uh, quite the evening in Ibiza. A lot of fun, really enjoyed the trip overall. So next up for me, we've got lots on at home. So I'll be filming a week in the life next week, which will be really good. And then after that, that'll be a nice busy week leading into Outlaw. And then after that, we've got a few more shoots and then off to ride around Europe for 12 days. So really looking forward to that. Stay tuned and I'll see you next week.